looking live at Arizona Stadium in Tucson, where Oregon and Arizona will determine their Rose Bowl destiny on Saturday Night Football on ABC, presented by Southwest Airlines. Folks, it's going to be a fight to the finish in the desert tonight, and the loser is going to be pushed to the brink in the Pac-10 Rose Bowl race. It is wild in the Pac-10. By far, the best conference race left. Oregon and Arizona start tonight and they control their own fate. Oregon State still in the thick of things, as is Stanford. Downfield, it allowed those linebackers to chase Masoli down. He had nowhere to go with the football. Second and ten. And here comes their great running back, Michael James, exploding. He's resetting the secondary here on third and seven. Wildcats expecting to pass, and they're going to get it. Snapped off for a first down. Masoli came to Ed. Big conversion there for the Ducks. Play action. And inside the five-yard line. What a perfect time to try to get the linebackers and safeties to get back. Up tempo, right back at the line. James hitting that backfield. Terrific penetration. We'll change it up. He keeps it himself. Cuts back against the grain. Touchdown. What a beautiful cut. Arizona actually had him bottled up. And then he cut back to the left side and made it to the end zone. Senior safety from Dallas. His last game here in Tucson. Second and 14. Masoli off the fake going deep. A perfect strike that time. Back, and then they get back to the bread and butter running the football. James patiently waited. And he is across the 20 yard line. To the football. Corey Hall that time, an outside linebacker, shot great speed to the edge. Second and 13. And again, throws a incomplete. The line judge had it incomplete. Crenshaw was working the sideline. I don't think he realized he was that close to the line of scrimmage, but his left foot looked like it got down. I'm sure they'll take another look at this one. Let's see if he catches the ball as his left foot touches. And the left foot looks like it's down. It was determined that the receiver caught the ball with a foot inbound. Yeah. First and goal at the five-yard line. Trying to stretch the defense, and he does not fumble. And again, Oregon pounces on it. Third and goal. Couldn't find a receiver. Now, touchdown. Jeff Mayo lurking inside the five-yard line. And number eight, Jeremiah Masoli just keeps coming with his head looking downfield spots it's deflected intercepted picked off at the 44 yard line sterling lewis last drive oregon put the ball on the ground twice and they were unable to come away with a turnover this time this time the deflection and a great job here of being able to find it by sterling lewis the ball goes in the air who else cam nelson knocks it up into the air and sterling lewis. westlake high school he broke Drew Brees records while he was in high school. So here is Foles standing tall over the middle for a first down to the 20. Nahuko in this package. Sonny Dykes, the offensive coordinator, calling the plays upstairs against the four man rush. Again, flaring to Nahuko. And that down the side of the five yard line area. Second and goal, throw to fade, left side, jump ball, touchdown, Arizona, Kreiner. Sophomore from Las Vegas, puts the Wildcats on the board, and a turnover leads to a touchdown. Foles, looking downfield, got a man. At the 42-yard line, Dean. Third down and nine. It's 
picked up the first down. William Wright, the sophomore from Oklahoma. They pick up the first down, which will stop the clock. 12 seconds. He's going to fire the ball to kill it. Save the timeout. Kill the clock with a quick fire into the ground. Having that last timeout is big here. If he can get about an 8 to 10 yard gain, just, just give him a chance at a field goal. Dropped. Alex Zendejas, his uncle Max, was a Wildcat legend. Another uncle, Lewis, kicked at Arizona State and the National Football League. So, as far as kickers Time go down out, here in Arizona. Oregon, number one of the half. It's a 30 second. To say only Michigan. <laughs> This is a 47 yarder. His longest is 37. Is that his longest? You bet it is. And they've got to break him up a little scrum, and they do. Let's go down to Lisa with Coach. Back 10 conference. Rice, the freshman punter. Right at midfield. Stretches the coverage team has an alley at the 31 yard line. What a huge block to spring him, and a crowd responded. Top coming from the right, Orlando Vargas. Watch this block right here, 38. Boom! Just annihilates an Oregon defender that time who was trying to come downfield. Big block, and Embry didn't know what hit him. Best starting field position of the night, and look who's back as a running back. Nick Grigsby checks in. His third carry of the night, picks his daylight, explodes. Is the guard who pulled to lead power. Second down for quarterback Nick Foles. Handing off, and not much doing on that play. Third and three. Nick Booth is now on the field as a running back. And they knew something. Touchdown, Arizona. Leading for the first time tonight. And they go four deep. The potential is there to back them up a bit. Third and four for Foles. Middle and running wild is William Wright. Gonna throw again. Gonna go for it all. Got him open. By Oregon. Third and ten. Final minute of the third quarter. And they run for the first down. Nahuko and Booth, about 220 pounds. Sonny Dykes keeping the Duck defense off balance with this play calling. Nahuko, that time the D was ready for the running play. And there's a penalty flag thrown at T.J. Ward. He came up with a little demonstration, and let's see if he incurred the wrath of the officiating crew. A little bit of hot dogging After here. The play, yeah. Unsportsmanlike conduct. Number two of the defense. Half the mission to the goal. First down. See, that is the right call. All over college football, we see players who sometimes act appropriately and other times act inappropriately. That, but according to the rule book, that should be flagged every single time across the country. And he was taken out by his coach, Chip Kelly. Third and goal. Arizona. William Wright, the sophomore from Oklahoma. So it is down to three. These two plus Oregon State are in control and complete. Masoli. And finding Eddie Dixon. The Roses are out in Tucson. 
Masoli will try to run for it. He's got it. Remember, Oregon feels that they can outcondition you in the fourth quarter, that their up tempo attack will keep them going. Middle high caught by the five yard line. That is Jeff Mayle making a huge play for the Ducks, and it'll be first and goal. Uh, Jeff Mayle, along with Ed Dixon, are the go-to targets for this Oregon offense. The ball is high. Checking the sideline. James slips through, just short of the end zone. But they're trying to attack the interior of the Arizona defense. Well, the coaches upstairs have had a chance to look at the Stoops alignment. And they can change up the offensive call. That's why they've been looking back at the sideline here. And Masoli walks in. When that hole opens up off his fake to James, there's just nobody there to take the quarterback on. Tui Ha. You want to help me on that? <laughs> Tui Ha Kalaka. <laughs> Vuna. Vuna. Vuna comes down that time and it made it so easy. That's what that's what you're used to seeing. Five yard line. James on a cutback hole. There's 14. Yes, he was recruited by the Longhorns, but he wanted to, to leave the state. And he's happy to be up in Eugene, and they're happy to have him. Second down and nine. Masoli bounces, throws it away. And uh, third and nine. James. Stretching it to the left side, and he is upended as he crosses the 30-yard line by Trevin Wade. This for the tie. Morgan Flint with a 43-yarder. Hits the crossbar and goes across. We are deadlocked. Had it all the way, Herbert. <laughs> the line drive to center field. I think the crowd thought it was going to be short. He didn't hit it very well. Is the running back. Foles tracking down to the flat again. And a big play foot race underway. Kreiner with speed goes the distance. 71 yard touchdown. Get outside of you. Here comes James. Struggling toward that first down marker. Back. Have not called Ed Dixon's name. He's flexed out to the top as a tight end. Got the first down. 106 for the game. Third and 11 for Masola. Gonna try to run forward Davis. He's got a chance. He's got the first down. A gutsy third down running play. They gave him it early in the game, but they didn't get the call this time. Second down and 10. Here's Masoli working back to the middle. That is short of the first down. Clock continues to run now with Jeff Mayle. They've got to hurry. Got to use the timeout here. Stop the clock. Still, I mean, they had two timeouts. They're able to use one of them here. Students are thinking this Hayes in a barn. This game's over. They better be careful. They just want to be in a good spot to rush the field in case it is over. <laughs> if we go to overtime, good seats for overtime. Back up over the wall. <laughs> <laughs> the red out tonight in Tucson, another sellout crowd. Jim Leifengood, the outstanding athletic director here, and uh, they, they run a tremendous all around sports program. First down marker and run around that 18 yard line. 
And here's Masola. Trying to get somebody open, trying to position a receiver, and has to throw it away, and we're down to the fourth down. Here's your fourth down. 23 seconds. The timeout Time has out. been called by Arizona. Stoops in Arizona. Had all three to go. Has his brother Mark right there. In the country. Fourth down and five. It has come to this. Here's Masoli. Fires got the first down. 18 ticks of the clock left. Mail, the reliable one. Got to make quick decisions here. Chip Kelly trying to get everything in to Jeremiah Masoli. Still has the one 15 timeout. yards away. Roll to the left. Fire out of bounds. Stop the clock. That is Davis. And Mail have been go to guys. Masoli lobs his own. We are one point away from a tie. Eddie Dixon with six seconds to go makes the grab in the end zone. Morgan Flint. That snap put down and Flint saves it. Nate Costa was the holder with a good pair of hands that time. We're deadlocked. Both teams controlling their own destiny to get to a conference championship and ultimately the Rose Bowl. And there's our man. He's been doing it all night. Devin Ross fighting for that football. Here comes James. Bursting middle. Five. First and goes his back. Sully rolling to the left, fires end zone, and coming up with a brilliant catch is Jeff Mayo. So if the Ducks can hang on, they would play Oregon State on a Thursday night on ESPN for the right to go to the Rose Bowl in Pasadena. But first things first, third and four here for the Wildcats. And they're still alive. First and ten. Back in the gun. Ball. Lineman goes down. Oregon digging for it. Ducks say they've got it. If so, it's over. If they've got this loose ball, Ducks are celebrating. Hang on now. They're coming out. And Arizona has got the football on the other side. Herman Hall, who is the backup left guard, <laughs> standing there saying, boys, after you get done wrestling and pointing, turn around because I got something you might want. Yeah, I'm like, <laughs> Brandon, we got Herman Hall here holding the football. Look at these guys. <laughs> That's a scrum. You got 340 pounders in there fighting for it. Big Dotsy 70 looking for that football. They got to give it to Arizona. How'd you like to be at the bottom of that one, Brent? <laughs> You don't even want to know what's going on at the bottom of that pile. Third down and seven. Need a touchdown and an extra point to keep going. And uh, let's see if we're going to have a little review here. The previous play is under further review. <laughs> so he'll be the running back. Thirty eight thirty one first overtime Oregon with the lead pump fake by Foles in trouble deep trouble and a penalty flag is thrown pass was incomplete and Stoops being restrained a little bit here I think he wanted a late hit on his quarterback to go off who Number 39 was in on him. Personal foul, face mask, defense, half the distance to the wall, first down. So Tuka Afu incurs the personal foul. A 
Foles, remember last week against Cal, where he had that decision where it, the ball came back to him and he ended up catching it and trying to throw it again? Kind of reminds you that as he's rolling to his right. Really didn't see anything there coming to the face mask. It looked like he had wrapped. Oh, it looked like he had wrapped around a little bit. First down and goal. Nothing doing. Second down and goal. Bowles on a short drop. Fires to the end zone for the touchdown. An extra point away. And for Kreiner, his third touchdown catch of the night. A or, or Foles had to throw the football away. Oregon was able to get pressure, but it was the coverage downfield on Kreiner that forced him into that throw. Foles, nothing doing. Alex and Dejas. This is a 41 yarder. Made one from 47, but missed that 24 yarder. So here we go. Slides it in for the field goal. Masoli. Inside the five yard line. James. Short of the end zone. A defensive lineman. Second and goal. Masoli. He is stopped. Sole, Oregon wins it. The Ducks will play Oregon State in Eugene for the right to go to the Rose Bowl.